All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Uh, we just got home from our trip. Um, I changed the oil in the Yaris because it needed it before we went, but I just didn't have time. So all of like five minutes, I got it changed. Um, but on the trip that we just took, I got the most amazing, 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 amazing deals. Um, as you guys know, come TDH 2020, uh, we will be doing a budget build off. In the budget build off, your allotted budget is uh, $2,500. Whether you buy your shit new, you buy it used, you buy it however you buy it, it don't matter. It's just be honest, be real, and um, I will show you guys. This is right like a motherfucker, I think. I don't know. But uh, I'll show you guys the purchase that I made. And if you follow me on Facebook, you already know. But I just can't believe the deal that I got. Um, I was surfing the Facebook pages, looking for the best possible deal. Bang for buck. And with what I'm about to show you, I have $750 in all of it. I have $350 in the amp. I got 400 in the subs. You're not going to believe me, but I have proof, and I'll show that to you too. But here it is. Here's the base end of our build for TDH 2020. We've got six DC level 4 tens. Yes, I said six level 4 tens. And a DC 5K. Absolutely nothing wrong with any of it. As you guys can see here, the coils. On all six subs look just like that. I really don't even think these things have seen power because that's all the motion you can get out of a push. Granted, these are the M1 series. So these are the older level fours. But with the with that being said, the newer the newer level four recons will drop directly into them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna beat the piss out of them. And when they pop, let's order some recons. I got six brand new level fours for four hundred dollars. <laughs> Not really. I mean, it'd be about a thousand dollars in, but still, dude, four hundred dollars for over two thousand dollars worth of subs. I mean, granted, you can't buy that model anymore, but still, when they were new, it was over two thousand dollars worth of subs. And a five K, I got three hundred fifty dollars in that. I had two ZV uh, ZVX fifteens that I traded for a. Um, Sound Digital 8800. I'm not a big Sound Digital fan, but the deal was the deal. And two days after I made that deal, guy got a hold of me. He's like, hey, man, I got a DC 5K. I was like, hey, man, you're trying to trade. So we made the trade. So for, D for TDH 2020 and the base build, that's our base end. Now I've got to find a mids and highs amp. I got four PRV8s. I'll be looking for some tweeters. Maybe a couple six and a halfs. I don't know. Um, and a deck and wires and pretty much that's all I got. I mean, I got batteries and alternators I got to get. So, I mean, this isn't everything, but right now with what I have here, this leaves me with roughly about 1750 left to spend in my budget. And I mean, it's all about taking time and researching and searching your best options. Like I said, I mean, this shit don't have to be new. That's not the point. The point is to take the allotted budget and do your best with your creativity and what you can do. And uh, all I got to say is we're about to get real creative because all that's going right here. All of those are going in this big ass trunk. We are going to be doing a fourth order. I'm going to be pulling that brace out and that brace right there. And then we'll have that opening. We're going to be doing a fourth order trunk wall ported into the cab completely sealed off. We've got some foam on the sides here. Uh, I mean, that solidified the quarter panel. So, I mean, there shouldn't be hardly any vibrations. We're going to do the deck lid with a bunch of deadener, a little foam up in it just to bring it to bring it in to make it solid. And uh, like I said, that brace right there, that brace right there is going to be coming out. I might cut this rail out right here. I'm not sure yet, just to give it a little more room to have headway. Um, but the goal is I'm going to try and find two more of those seats to make brackets to mount back here on the back. So it'll be four bucket seats. And then we'll have the trunk wall right here ported down the center with a center console that goes front to back. But 
But we're just going to have to see what kind of deals I can run across now. And uh, see if I can continue to get stuff at, at a banger budget. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe because come February 1st, this build is going to start. I've already got supplies on the way as far as building materials. I've got some of it here. Uh, I mean, I've got I've got pretty much everything I need to do the build. Minus some uh, key like electrical components and things like that. But I got enough to start. And uh, as time comes on, you know, I've got a couple months. I'm not like gung-ho to just, oh, I'm going to buy every fucking thing new. Like, I'm just, I, I'm searching. Like, I, I'm, I'm tapping on everybody's uh, Facebook marketplace uh, ad. I'm looking at everything. I'm trying to find best bang for buck because this is my personal build. And this is what I'm bringing to uh, the 2020 season. So everybody, if y'all looking to uh, get in this budget build, you better bring the heat because it's getting hot. I'll let you guys in the next one. I'm out.